Hello, I'm Henry Zhang at Northwestern University. In my machine learning course, I am applying machine learning methods to my own field of research. Machine learning has facilitated the understanding of relation between materials processing structure, property, and performance, and also assisted in the rational design of materials. In this project, we seek to understand the structure-property relation of polymer materials for water membranes. Specifically, we are interested in how the yield stress is impacted by the structure at various length scales. To this end, data is collected for 110 types of molecules in total. Firstly, over 3,000 molecular-level descriptors are generated for each of them in a chemical informatics software. Then, polymerization is simulated using molecular dynamics, from which we obtain the microstructures and properties of the resulting polymers. 3,000 chemical descriptors are clearly too many for machine learning. So a feature selection is conducted in advance. Lasso regression model is trained using the chemical descriptors with yield stress as a response. Around 20 descriptors with non-zero coefficients are selected. Their physical meanings are also investigated, which is beyond this project. As for microstructure, the raw data are very complex three-dimensional structures which are not suitable for machine learning too. What we do is to extract st statistical representations from the structures, such as volume fraction, pore size, and interfacial area. In particular, the pore size dis distribution curve for each polymer still has very high dimensionality. We reduce the dimension by converting it to a high histogram type data. After the pre-processing is done, we combine the molecular and microstructure descriptors and train a predictive machine learning model. Since the predictors include both qualitative and quantitative variables, an ensemble model based on trees will be suitable. Here we use the AddBoost model, repeating, ten, repeating tenfold cross-validation for many times and attain a CVR square of over 0.6, which is already very high in machine in material science context. To summarize, in this project, we get a machine learning model that can predict the yield stress of a polymer based on its uh, chemical and structural information. And investigating the effects of each predictor also provides us with physical insights on this pro problem. And that's all of my projects. Thank you for watching.